Hey guys, it's Coach Allen here, and I want to give you some drills, some tips, and some concepts to reduce the occurrence and severity of you having knee issues. Now, statistically, females are five to eight times more likely to suffer an ACL injury than males. But if you've been paying any attention to the NBA over the last 10 years, especially to a player like Derrick Rose, you'll know that knee injuries are still very common and very rampant. Uh, and there are progressive steps that we can take and strategies we can implement to reduce the occurrence and severity. Now, a couple of things I want to make sure that you understand. Your body works as a fluid system. It works as a unit. It's not really something that's designed to be done uh, in specific body parts when you're training. So we want to train everything in coordination. And it's important that you understand the relationship that your ankles and hips have with your knees. By definition, without trying to get too technical for you, your ankles are designed to be mobile. So you want to work on mobility for your ankles. Your knee is designed to be stable and your hip is designed to be mobile as well. So the way your body was created, the joints on either side of your knee were designed to be mobile to go through a full, uh, full range of motion to take pressure off of your knee. So the very first step to reducing uh, injuries in the knees is to improve mobility in the ankles, improve mobility in the hips. And I'm gonna give you a couple of drills for those in just a second. The next step to reducing the severity and occurrence of knee injuries is to strengthen the posterior side of your lower body. That's gonna be your hamstrings, your butt, and your calves. See, basketball is a running and jumping sport, and a good portion of your running and jumping uh, ends up creating tension in your thighs, in your quads. That's where you feel it a lot. That's where you feel the burn when you're running and jumping. So in order to balance that out and really stabilize and protect the knee joint, we want to make sure we're doing direct work to strengthen the back side of our body. The third thing we need to do is we need to train ourselves to land softly, quietly, and on balance. You have to train yourself and condition yourself to land like a cat, to land like a ninja. Soft, quiet, and on balance. And then the fourth pillar, the fourth thing we need to do to reduce the severity and injury, uh, occurrence of injury in our knees, is we need to learn how to decelerate properly with perfect footwork. We need to learn how to put on the brakes with what we're doing. So right now, I'm gonna give you a couple of different drills that you can do every single day. You can incorporate this into your warm up. You can do these after a workout. But the most important thing is that you incorporate these in uh, at a regular frequency to help protect your knees. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to improve mobility in our ankles. Uh, there's a variety of different things that we can do. First thing we're gonna do right now, you're just gonna stand in an athletic stance. And all I want you to do is pull your toes to your nose. I want you to try to pull your toes as high off the ground as you can using just your shin muscles. So we're gonna to pull toes to nose, high as you can. To work on our ankle mobility. Next thing, we wanna work on something to improve our hip mobility. So I'm gonna get down in a lunge position and I'm actually gonna hold on to the ball here. So I'm in a lunge position and you'll notice that my arms are inside of my knee, my toes are in front of the ball and I'm getting a really good stretch in this back hip here. If you wanna take it up a notch, you can rock your hips forward, rock your hips back. Rock your hips forward, rock your hips back. And we're gonna get a really intense stretch in the hips. Obviously anything we do on one side of the body, we'll wanna make sure we do on the other as well. So I'm gonna rock forward, rock back. Rock forward, rock back. Now we have tons of other exercises and drills you can do for both ankle and hip mobility. Feel free to pick any of those. Now I'm gonna give you two quick ones to help strengthen the posterior side of your body. The first one we can do is simply what's called a ball reach. I'll take it at kind of a diagonal here so you can see. I'm gonna balance on one foot. I'm going to reach the ball out in front of me as far as I can. And I'm going to try to get my back leg and my back parallel to the ground. Back leg and back parallel to the ground. Get a good pause and bring it right back in. I'll feel a really, really intense stretch and then thus strengthening of the hamstring of the leg that I'm standing on. You can get two, you can do these for time or you can do these for reps. Anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, 30 to 60 seconds will suffice. I'll go ahead and get a couple reps on this side.
and that's one great way to strengthen your hamstrings. Here's another. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seated position and I'll do this at a diagonal for you. I'm gonna lay back, I've got my heels flat, I can cross my arms, and I'm going to drive my hips as high to the sky as I can. And for some of you, this will be advanced enough. Now I've got my butt cheeks clenched, my hamstrings are tight. If this is not challenging enough for you and you wanna find a more advanced version, you simply are going to extend one leg, pause, and back down. And we're just gonna march in place. Once again, we can go for reps, we can go for time. And that's another great exercise to strengthen the posterior side of the body. Now let's talk about landing. We want to land soft, we want to land quiet. We've got a variety of different drills we can do. Basically anything where you're going to be explosive and we're going to be jumping and we're going to attempt to land soft and land quiet. So we've got a few different ones. I'll pick one or two right now. First one we can do is simply a, a lateral bound from side to side. So I'm going two foot jump, two foot jump, two foot land. So I'm simply gonna bound from side to side. And I'm focused on landing soft, landing quiet, landing on bounce. If we want to progress this a little bit, we'll add a turn to it. So now I'm going to do a jump turn, 180 degree turn. I'm still working on my explosiveness, I'm still working on jumping high, but right now I want to focus on landing soft, quiet, and on balance. Now from a deceleration standpoint, want to work on explosiveness, but coming to a full stop. Right now what I'll do, I'm going to do a combination. I'm going to do a crossover step and stick, crossover step and stick. Working on my ability to decelerate my body laterally. We'll also want to work on some deceleration moving forward. So from here, I can take a one-two step and come to a stop. One-two and stop. So improving ankle hip mobility, strengthening the posterior side of our body, lower body, working our ability to land softly, quietly and on balance, and working on our ability to decelerate are four ways you can reduce the occurrence and severity of knee injuries.